Ideas, imagination, inspiration, macro world. Here's your host, Ray Scott. To say that focusing in macro photography is important is a huge understatement. Focusing in the macro world is absolutely critical. You just can't have a good macro photo without perfect focus. Today, I'm going to show you an easy way to have perfectly focused macro photos every time. We have our subject ready to go in this case, something I've written on a piece of paper. I'm using my 100 millimeter macro lens. So how to focus perfectly. That's what we're focusing on today. Now, often when you're focusing through the viewfinder, you think that everything is in perfect focus, but often it isn't. So we're going to be using live view. That's the key. Use your live view on your camera. Now I can't show you exactly where to go on your camera for it because I don't know what your camera looks like, but uh, read your manual if you don't know how to do it. Anyway, go to live view and then start the focusing process. Now make sure that your camera of course is uh, square to your subject. You always want to do that. And then you go and you have your focusing. Now you, you may think that that looks good, but actually let's go in a little bit closer. Now we can do that by setting our focus point. I'm going to set it in this case on the C and the U in the word focus, and I'm going to move in even closer. This way, I know I'm going to be getting perfect focus. Look, you can even see the grain and the texture in the paper. You know that this is going to be in focus, but if you're not sure, you can go in even closer. Now I don't have to focus anymore. I can see that that's very clear. So I'll take my release, my shutter release, my remote release, and I'll take the picture. And that is how to focus perfectly. If you haven't tried this method of macro focusing, give it a shot. I think you're going to really like it. Until next time, I'm Ray Scott reminding you to shoot small, but think big.